Welcome family, Movies Brief here. I'm going to explain a horror film called Let Her Out. Spoilers ahead. Watch out and take care. It starts with a young woman who lives at the Gemini Motel. She's a prostitute. During a busy night, a shadowy figure approaches her room, she is then attacked and raped by the intruder. She later discovers she is pregnant, and desperate and alone, takes a pair of scissors to her unborn, killing herself in the process, but the child survives. Jumping 23 years from the incident, the film shows Helen, who survived her pre-birth assault from her frightened mother. She is now a bike courier living in Toronto with her best friend, Molly. One day, Helen is tasked to deliver goods to her friend's house named Roman. That day is Helen's birthday, so Roman gives her a painting which he claims to be the dark side of Helen. Helen immediately takes the painting home. At her motel, Helen recounts to Molly the story of her mother's death. Molly cares deeply about Helen's condition. Molly is always there to support her as Helen doesn't have any other family. Shortly, Molly leaves the place because she has an appointment with her boyfriend named Ed. As she's returning from the motel, Helen is struck by a car, leaving her seriously injured. Helen is then taken to the hospital. She suffers a head injury and some broken bones. Weeks later, Helen is finally allowed to go home. Molly and her friends start throwing a small party to welcome Helen's arrival. At the party, Helen meets Ed, Molly's boyfriend, who seems interested in her. When the party is going on, suddenly Helen begins to experience a blackout and lose consciousness. She wakes up in an empty parking lot. Helen is confused by what happened earlier. She immediately calls Molly to ask what happened when she was unconscious. Molly explains that Helen left the party without telling her where she was going. Not knowing what happened, Helen immediately returns home in a state of anxiety. At home, Helen starts to paint strange pictures, and because she is afraid of Roman's painting, in the end, she puts it below and covers it with a cloth. The next day, Helen starts her day as usual, such as exercising, eating, and showering. Just as she finishes taking a shower, suddenly she starts seeing a strange figure. Then, she experiences another blackout and wakes up in front of her friends with an injured foot. Molly and others are confused. There, Molly explains to Helen that she went out using only a towel. For several hours, Helen had disappeared. And returning home, Helen's foot is already bleeding. Helen begins to remove the broken glass from her feet. The next day, Helen and Molly go to a doctor named Dr. Headley to consult about what is happening to Helen. Dr. Headley begins to ask some questions. Helen explains that she is always moving from place to place unconsciously. She was in one place, and suddenly woke up in another. This has happened frequently since the accident. Furthermore, she frequently sees a black shadow. After hearing her explanation, the doctor decides to perform a CT scan on her brain, and the results will be out the next day. Helen immediately returns home and goes straight to bed. In her sleep, she sees fleeting visions of a female figure. Helen wakes up to a call from Dr. Headley. The doctor tells Helen that something strange has happened to Helen's brain. Hearing this, Helen immediately goes to the hospital. There, the doctor explains that they discover a rare type of tumor in her brain. It turns out that another person has lived in her brain all this time. Helen's mother, who earlier stabbed herself in an attempt to end her pregnancy, it turns out, was carrying twins. One of the fetuses was indeed killed in utero, but was subsequently absorbed into the skull of the survivor, Helen. The car accident Helen suffered earlier somehow activated this long dormant twin who is now growing at a rapid rate and is responsible for Helen's loss of memory and erratic behavior. She now suffers from a syndrome called vanishing twin syndrome, an actual disorder that occurs when a twin disappears in the uterus during pregnancy as a result of a miscarriage of a twin. The twin is then absorbed into the body of the surviving fetus. This results in Helen having two different personas, Helen and her twin sister. Then, the doctor requires her to undergo surgery to remove her twin from her brain. However, she needs to wait three days until the surgery. Later at home, she sees the creepy painting given by Roman. The painting suddenly appears on the wall. She thinks that Molly was the one putting it back, but it wasn't. She finally decides to return the painting to Roman. Arriving at Roman's house, Helen sees no sign of Roman. She only sees a footage on a laptop, which turns out to be Helen, who was torturing Roman very sadistically. The footage shows Roman begging for mercy. However, unconsciously, Helen killed Roman. Helen cannot remember any of those. After walking around Roman's house, she also sees broken glass, and she remembers the day she came home with an injured foot. Helen is now convinced that inside her, there are two personas. Sometimes, 
Helen is in control of her body, but sometimes her twin is in control. Helen now realizes she is at war with her own body and mind. She rushes back home, and begins to tie her hands and feet to restrain her from going anywhere. The next day, Helen begins to go out for a walk at night because she is bored at home. However, she has hallucinations and decides to go to a nearby toilet. She starts to remove her arm cast and opens the surgical scars on her hands. She is shocked to see another human finger in her hand. Then, she decides to leave that place. From behind, Molly's boyfriend, Ed, begins to chase after Helen. Ed is very interested in the beauty of Helen. Therefore, he plans to rape her. At that time, Helen's twin begins to take control of the body. She then points a knife at him, frightening him. She immediately runs back home after regaining consciousness. At home, Molly then tells Helen to stop painting weird, scary pictures. But Helen reveals that she was not the one drawing the pictures. They have a debate until finally, Helen's body is taken over by her twin and starts attacking Molly. When she regains control, she realizes she could have hurt Molly. Eventually, Helen tells Molly to stay away from her. However, Molly refuses, so Helen decides to go away from that place and stay away from Molly. On the way, Helen meets Ed. Ed wants to have revenge because Helen had pointed a knife at him before. Helen begins to explain that she was sick and that she wasn't the one doing all that. Ed doesn't listen to Helen, and he plans to rape Helen. At the same time, her twin sister starts to take control of Helen's body and kills Ed instantly. After killing Ed, Helen regains her consciousness and sees that Ed is now dead. Realizing how dangerous she has become, Helen plans to commit suicide at the Gemini Motel, where her mother had committed suicide years ago. Elsewhere, Molly begins to look back at her photos with Helen. She observes a significant difference in her before and after pictures. She notices a shift in her personality as well. She finally concludes that within Helen's body, there are two different people. And the one who attacked her was not Helen. Molly immediately calls Helen to find out where she is. Helen says goodbye, revealing that she is going to commit suicide at the Gemini Motel. Hearing this, Molly immediately uses her bike and goes straight to the motel. When Helen has just arrived at the motel and about to commit suicide, her twin begins to take control of her body. Molly then arrives at the hotel. However, it is too late. Her twin has completely controlled Helen's body. She immediately attacks Molly. Molly tries to defend herself, and eventually, she is forced to kill Helen. In the final shot, Molly begins to walk home, remembering all her memories with Helen. And that's how the movie ends. Subscribe for more videos like this, turn on notifications, and leave a like to help the channel out. Thank you for watching.